Welcome to the Permission Slip Podcast, where I, empowerment coach, mindset expert, and holistic nutritionist, Carmen Oling, share with you the tools, conversations, and resources you need to write your own permission slip, take massive action, and become obsessed with your own life. Let's get started. Welcome back to the Permission Slip Podcast. And on today's podcast, I thought it would be fun to pull out my journal and just give you a few takeaways, breakthrough moments, journaling questions, things that you can get curious about in your life so that you can have a breakthrough. You can have an aha moment. You can finally step into being your highest self. You can finally uncover what that is inside of you that's been nudging you, but you've been ignoring. Whatever it is that you need, I think you're going to find it here on this podcast. So let's go ahead and just like dive right in. So the first thing that really stood out in my journal as I opened it, and let's see, this journal is covering, let me tell you here, actually didn't go back super far. So February 24th, ooh, I might read that day, all the way through the first week of May. So the first thing that stood out was was this idea is the need for certainty, certainty and over planning and perfectionism prevents you from from discovering your gifts, your gifts inside of you, your superpowers. It prevents you from discovering your potential and the possibilities that are available to you. Because often each and every day, we're just like focused on enduring the day and we're focusing on like new beginnings. And when we focus so much on new beginnings, guess what? We forget about celebrating the endings. It's like endings are sad, but can't endings be like a beautiful celebration so that when we step into our potential, when we step into possibility, then we can be excited about it because we have space for it. It's not just another thing that we're adding on like in dread. So I want you to think about your power is found in uncertainty, not in being certain. I can tell you what, for years and years, I know when our kids were young and I was working my corporate career and even at the beginning of my coaching business, and I've had this coaching business for almost a decade, and it has just been so fun to see it grow and shift and and change and morph in the way that I'm growing and shifting. So the way that I'm helping women and show up in the world is different too. But I used to want to be certain about everything. Was I was going to a party. Who's going to be there? What should I wear? What kind of food is going to be there? How long is it going to go for? Right? Can you relate to that? Or going on vacation? What are we going to do when? What's going to happen when? What's going to happen with me when? How about this? How about that? What about the other thing? Oh my gosh, how exhausting is that? Why do we do that to ourselves? Here's the reason. Because we all as humans, from the time we are born to where you're at today is inside of us is this need. These needs, these human desires to want to be safe, to want to be seen, to want to be soothed, and to want to be secure. And so if we are certain And if we are overplanned and prepared, then what we can do, it gives us a false sense of safety and security. Because honestly, can we ever be fully prepared? I mean, how many times do you prepare and plan and you go into something with expectations and then you get let down? It like robs your inner peace because it's not as you expected it to be. So it's totally steals the joy from the moment. Or maybe something happens and you get inside of your head, analytical of what you said, did, didn't say, what you wore, what you didn't wear, what you ate, what you drank, all the things. Can you relate with any of this? 
I used to operate in that way all the time. So much damn pressure all the time. And when I started taking the pressure off and realizing that my power is found in the uncertainty and pushing into moments where I knew I was meant to be there, but I didn't have all the reasons. I didn't know the exact path. But when I leaned in with full faith and trust and belief and took action from a place of joy and a centeredness of inner peace, then it works out. This is what I like to call adopting a mindset of curiosity. And this is really out of this. So what is your current trajectory? That's like a tongue twister to me, but this is going to be a question that I want you to sit with, with your journal. What is my current trajectory in my life? Is it aligned with what I feel is my purpose, is God's plan for me, is my calling? So what is your current trajectory and is it aligned with your purpose and your calling or what you really deeply desire in your life? And possibly the answer is yes and possibly the answer is no. Whatever the answer is, I want you to think about cultivating a mindset of curiosity every day. Curiosity is really like this middle place between where you are today and where you want to be, between what you already know and the wisdom that's on the other side of the life's lessons, because we're all created to explore and have a journey. Now, I know you've heard me talk about it before um, from A Course in Miracles, which is the metaphysical text that I'm a student of. And we know that a miracle is simply just a shift in our perception. And this can happen to you every day. In fact, it happened to me just this morning in the normal mundane moments of life. As I was going through my morning rituals, I read something and it stuck with me. And then I was doing some free writing in my journal and I was like, wow. And it shifted my perception. So a renewal of our minds is is what we should be going for each and every day. So another journaling question for you is, where have you been avoiding the opportunity for a miracle? How are you blocking miracles in your life? Are you white knuckling? Are you over controlling, over planning, needing for certainty? Like my bestie used to say, I'm needing a signy or sign, asking for signs all over the place. And guess what? Most of the time we're getting them, but we're so focused in with our tunnel vision that we can't actually see or experience them because we're holding the reins too tightly. And we need to let go. We need to let go of that predictability and just push into the uncomfortableness of uncertainty, a little bit of unpredictability. Because what happens if we start avoiding our miracles and we start blocking our miracles, that often looks like fear, worry, comparison, procrastination, or just being busy all the time that has nothing to do with your purpose, your calling, or your deepest dreams or desires in this season of your life. Alignment and flow and how you truly want to feel and what you want is just on the other side of curiosity. I wrote this down uh, back in April and I know that I've heard it before. You've probably heard it before. It's a quote from Dr. Seuss. Today you are you. That is truer than true. There is no one else alive that is youer than you. And here's the thing, the world needs you. But if you're anything like me, I was trying to fit into this box that the world had molded for me, all the expectations and the shoulds and checking off the boxes and saying yes to things that weren't really aligned with what God had for me. Because you know, God cannot bless you where you pretend to be. 
or who you pretend to be, but his deepest desire is to bless you where you are and who he created you to be. So what lane is ending for you right now in this season? So you can start this new journey. So you can open up to that free road, one that is a road of unpredictability. And you can start going down the path that you know that you're being called to go down. So I, I wrote down this scripture um, also back in April, true to your word, you let me catch my breath and you send me in the right direction. I am not afraid. When you walk by my side, your beauty and love chased after me every day of my life. I'm back home in the house of God for the rest of my life. And that's Psalms 23 from the Message Bible. And it prompted me to write down these words, write down these words that felt so expansive. Like if we could all embody these words, things would really shift for us, starting with how we feel inside. And the words were the five C's. I think I've shared this on a podcast before, but isn't it fun to hear like where, where these podcasts come from? Calmness, clarity, curiosity, courage confidence. And what I shared before is that you have to have that inner peace and that calmness to be able to get the clarity of where you want to go in your life and then step out with the courage and curiosity to try things out so that you can build the confidence inside of you. Three affirmations to gift you today is the first one is simplicity supports me. Oftentimes we try to make things so fucking complicated and something I've uncovered as I've really been diving into this idea of what are my talents versus my gifts. Talents are those things that we practice and people have told us that we're good at and we get accolades for and all the gold stars. And the gifts are things that are placed inside of us, the things that come naturally and just flow when we're in that flow state, when we can lose track of time and we can just go without worry, without, without knowing the answers. Those are our gifts. But oftentimes we complicate that. So simplicity supports me. The second affirmation that I want to share with you is the calmer I am, the more clarity I have. Because honestly, the stress, the anxiety, the overwhelm, the decision fatigue that you feel in your life right now is not because you have too much to do. It's because you're not clear and focused each and every day on what you want and where you're going in this season of your life. So you're falling back on your old people-pleasing ways. You're falling back on trying to be everything to everyone. And sister, that's just not going to work anymore. So the calmer I am, the more clarity I have, the more clarity I have, the more focused I can be, the more focused I can be, the more inner peace I can maintain each day, the more freedom I can build in my life. So the last affirmation is peace begins with me. And at the beginning of this journal, I wrote down words that were resonating with me. And I just free wrote them. I, I didn't think I just wrote them down. And here are the words. And I'm just such a wordsmither. While I didn't write the definition for all of these words, oftentimes when a word comes to me, I look up the definition in the regular dictionary, in the, uh, what is it? The Webster 1883 dictionary. And I also look up the spiritual meaning of the words. And then I put together my own definition. So if you are into wordsmithing like me, I highly recommend doing that. You can really embody the word, fill the word, and then you can really speak the word passionately. So the words that I wrote down were contemplation, discernment, depth, inner guidance system, focus, pleasure, light, conduit, creator, visionary, tenacity, 
obedience, contentment, leadership, and abundance. And then just next to those words I wrote, and I'll, I'll leave you with this. And I want to hear from you, which one of those words like resonated with you? I did another word list just the other day, earlier in May, and some of the words were the same and some of them were different. And it just shows like growth throughout the season, even in just a few short months. So I want to hear from you what's resonating with you. I want to hear from you about the idea of leaning more into curiosity and unpredictability and letting go of control. So here's the final word. And I just want you to know that I am so grateful for you listening. And it, it would be the greatest gift to me if you took something away from this podcast that you just text this podcast to someone else so it can be a gift to someone else as well. All things are possible if I'm patient, faithful, and have full belief. And I do my part each and every day asking and tapping into that good feeling of belief, listening, learning, leading, and serving. If I do my part. Are you doing your part? Okay, I want to hear from you. Shoot me a DM on Instagram. And next week, we have something super special coming up on the podcast. It's something new and you're going to want to tune in and listen because it is going to be so impactful. So thank you so much for listening and have a beautiful rest of your day. 